Hi, I'm Suzette Allen, and I want to show you a little comparison between two little cameras. So the Lumix line is awesome, and I have all the pro cameras, but sometimes you just want a pocket size. You just want to throw it in your purse or your pocket, and but I don't want to give up my quality. I don't want a little scrawny point and shoot. I still want a larger sensor because I want to print bigger pictures and I want all my bells and whistles. So guess what? Lumix makes a couple different cameras that boast a 20 megapixel file. It's a one inch sensor. It has full manual capability and 4K capability, all of that. And both of these cameras are about $700. Bonus but they're totally different. So I'm here to tell you what the difference is so you know which one is best for you. All right, so we have the LX10 and we have the ZS100. Both are about the same price. There's two main differences though, and the monitor is one of them. So on the ZS100, the monitor's fixed. You can't move it, but it does have a little eyepiece. So you can look through that, especially if it's a sunny day and it's kind of glary, you can't see. That's really a benefit. On the LX10, it's, actually tiltable, which is really nice. So if you're shooting and it glares, you can tilt it up and that's really helpful. But here's the big bonus. It goes all the way up and turns into a selfie camera. Yeah, no kidding. So awesome. So if you're a blogger and you like to do your own videos, this thing totally rocks. Or you're a selfie queen like me and you love to do selfies, this is awesome. And there's actually there's actually a little filter in there that makes you skinnier or smooths out your skin when you're in selfie mode only. Anyway, just don't tell anybody. So anyway, that's the main difference between these two on monitors. Now, the big other difference is lenses. And this is key, and they're both good, it just depends on what kind of photography that you do. Let's talk about the LX10 first. It is a 24 to 72, kind of middle of the range, not super long, and, um, but the best thing about it is it is a 1.4 f-stop. That means it lets in lots of light and you can shoot in the dark and it gives you that beautiful shallow depth of field and the bokeh. And so if you like to shoot at night or low light and you want the flexibility of that shallow depth of field, this is a great camera. It will shoot in a quarter the light that this one needs. So that's huge. Now, this one, the ZS100, it has a long zoom. It's a 25 to 250. That is a very long lens. But the price you pay for that long lens is it requires more light. So the f-stop is 2.8 to 5.9. So that means when you're zoomed all the way out, you pretty much need a sunny day. But that's great if you photograph your kids doing sports or landscapes or whatever, and it's usually pretty bright, it should be fine. So it completely depends on what kind of photography you do. Both of these will um, do a great job, just depends on what you do. So I hope this has been helpful to help you choose the right Lumix camera for you.